So guys, for the first method, you wanna head over to search and type in services, click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna scroll down till you find the Bluetooth support service, you wanna double click on it, change your startup type to automatic, and then click on start, which will then make the service status running. Now, you want to right click on it, and then click on restart. See if that works for you. And now for the second method, you wanna head over to search again, and type in check for updates, click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna scroll down, and then click on advanced options. And now you wanna turn this on. Receive updates for the Microsoft products. You wanna turn this on. Now you wanna go back to Windows updates, and then click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. See if that works for you. And now for the next method, you wanna head over to search and type in find and fix problems with Bluetooth devices. Click on it, and then click on advanced. Make sure that you have this ticked, and then click on next. Wait for this to load. You wanna go through all the steps that come up, see if that works for you. And now for the next method, you wanna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it, and then once you're on this, you wanna click on your computer name at the top, and then click on view, and then click on show hidden devices. You should now be seeing Bluetooth. In my case, I'm using a virtual machine. That's why I do not have Bluetooth, but in your case, you should be having Bluetooth right here. So you wanna expand Bluetooth. Then you wanna find your Bluetooth device. You wanna right click on it, and then click on update driver, and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for device installed. For the next method, you just wanna unpair your Bluetooth device and then just reconnect it again. See if that works for you. And now for the last method, you just wanna simply restart your computer and then hopefully this will fix your problem.